Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Trophinet and welcome back to The Witcher 3 on the that much difficulty. We're still playing the Hearts of Stone DLC. Well, we're back to playing the Hearts of Stone DLC after we uh, upgraded our Wolven gear. And uh, today we're gonna do a special Witcher contract called Without a Trace. Uh, someone has gone missing and we need to talk to this herbalist in this herbalist hut. Hello, sir! Hey there. Yeah, hey there, that was short. Um. Hear about the notice. Hear about the contract. Whew, a taker at long last. Poverty in everyone's lips, but when you've a job to give, no one's eager. Folk are lazy, that's the truth of it. That's sometimes Stick true to indeed. The point, if you don't mind. Uh, right, right, right. Sorry for the chatter. I'm anxious, is all. Been so long without any word. <sighs> it's my apprentice, Falkert. I sent him to the Dead White Wood. You know, the forest near Martin Foy's farmstead. I I'd run out of hand fibre, see, and the, the damned stuff grows thick as weeds there. Let me guess. Hasn't returned. He's a smart uh, one, no, isn't he? He hasn't. Please, find him and bring him back safe and sound. I can't promise you that, but uh, fine, we'll go look for him. No promises, but I can certainly look for him. Any distinguishing features? How will I recognize him? Hmm. Got to think on that. Well, he's a, a halfling, as I am. That light hair narrows it down a bit. Will that do? It'll have to. So long. Goodbye, Mr. Herbalist, because this guy doesn't even have a name. He's just called Herbalist. So we need to find his apprentice, Falkert, in the Dead White Wood. Even that name doesn't sound good. So uh, see you guys over there in a second. As we come to a clearing, it appears we, uh, well, the start of that wood, that white wood is at the loggers' facility. Let's see. So there's a lot of people here, so I can't assume that uh, anything bad has happened yet. But somebody else should have heard something if uh, anything happened to Falkert. Let's see. This is a pretty big area I need to cover. That looks like his cart. Herbalist's cart. Got some blood here. Uh oh, that's not good. It's a dwarven spirit fitting for a herbalist uh, cart. An amber. Okay. So there's more of it. Blood. Dried. A few days old. If my voice sounds a bit uh, hoarse, by the way, it's uh, because uh, I uh, attended a wedding yesterday, a wedding party. And it was uh, pretty late, but hey, here I am recording videos. So let's follow these tracks. Erd. That's a weird name. Erd. Another new village? Hello! Wait. He dropped something. Trail's gone cold. Need to look around. Ask. Hopefully Maybe his body soon. didn't go cold as well. Without a trace, ask the inhabitants of the village. Oh, the village Erd. I don't see anybody though. Oh, over there. Hello, good people of Erd. Uh oh. Good. Sharp now. With company. He's a bit sleepy, apparently. What's Wake up, old man. To these parts, master. Lost your way? No. Looking for someone. Ah. Do tell. Perhaps we can help. Perhaps you can. Uh, what's weird about this place, what by the way? What is this place, exactly? A village? Plain to see? It is? Abandoned huts is about all I see. Aye. It's only us now. Young folk have gone off to the city seeking work. And the old have all died. Ain't that right, Judd? Right as rain. Is it? Because it sounds a bit suspicious. Looking for someone named Fulkert, light-haired halfling. Ring any bells? Aye, saw a little one round here. Out picking herbs. Mm-hmm. Till he got hurt. Ran across a trail of blood. Trail led me here. It is just as you say. Wolves had attacked him. He fled here seeking shelter. I told him, back to your city, young master. Plenty such dangers hereabouts. But the fool was 
trusted him. Said he had to pick his blooms aforehand. Ventured back into the woods. And that was the last of him. Heard howling that night. Sent shivers down my spine. Wait, so he was wounded? Wolves would have left something. His boots, maybe. Didn't go looking. But he's too old to go tramping about in the woods. So he was wounded and you guys just told him to fuck off, basically. That is bad. Um, although I am thinking these guys are cannibals, right? Because the trail ends here, it doesn't go back. And since he was bleeding, we should have found another trail. So long. Report back to the herbalist. I don't... Why do I don't believe that? Can I enter here? It's locked. See, that's weird on its own. Right. Can I see something through these windows? Not immediately as it seems. Oh, look at that. What's this? Is this something I can break open? Yes, it is. Okay. Blood stains. Months old. Months old. Wow. Yeah, lots of blood stains. Something else happened here. They didn't just leave. Hmm. I'm wondering what else we might find here. Aside from a lot of loot. Loot all over the place, but the blood stains do have me kind of worried. Let's check out the other houses as well, because uh, I don't have a great feeling about this. I'm putting my money on cannibals. If you can't put your money on cannibals. So we have blood stains in one house. Nothing apparently in this one. God damn it. Let me loot the thing. Thank you. Okay. There's another one over here. Can't even open that one. This is not... I want to see what else I can find here. Because I have a feeling the quest just leads me away for no reason. Can I enter that building where they're living? Apparently not. There's another shack in the back there. Weird. Hmm. Rotting meat. Okay, there we go. I knew something was wrong. Rotting meat. So Geralt called a scent. And it leads to the back of the house. Oh god. What's this? Well, there's an entryway down there. Yes, indeed. Let's go down. I knew there was more to this than meets the eye. And the sand goes down into the basement of the house. Can I... Oh, okay. Holy shit. Let's loot ah, this first. Damn it. Search the room. So those are pigs and a dog. Dead dog. I don't even... That's a sheep, I think. But that is Fulkert. Light-haired halfling. Must be Fulkert. Ripped open, gutted and drained. No way to determine the cause of death. Okay, so they are cannibals. God damn it. They even kept him here, probably. Is there something, someone else in here? Yeah, there's another skeleton in here as well. What's this? Just another bag. When his arm is dro has dropped onto the floor. Okay, let's interrogate the elder couple. And see what they have to say about themselves. For themselves. Because, uh... I don't think they will be able to overpower me, except if they are creatures in human skin. Hello, woman. 
Dip into your larder. Meat rich diet. That what you like? Master. Not at all. Tate like that. That's Best human flesh. Or you'll be next to get a hook through your neck. The wolves killed him. Him and the others. We but gather the bodies. That's the truth. I don't believe them. We're old and frail. We've no strength to plow or sow. But we gotta eat. I pity him, Master. Um. I don't believe you. That's what you deserve. Or never eat human flesh again. I don't believe them. I th we found food in these other shacks. I think they just like human flesh. There's enough creatures, other creatures in the basement. They had a pig, a dog, a sheep. Still with meat attached. Bunnies too, by the way. So, I don't believe you. Folks say we witchers have no feelings. It's a barefaced lie. Right now, I feel rage. And I can't wait to vent. Whoa, wow, okay. They're, uh... She's aggressive. Yes, I'm beating old people, but they were eating people. Goodbye. Yes, indeed. God damn it, that was rusty key. So now I can probably open their shack. Let's see if they were telling the truth, because by the looks of it, there is food in this place. Let's see. Water. I can't check out that book. I want something that can confirm my uh, suspicions about these people. This is not openable. Sadly, I'm not going to read the do-it-yourself book, but... More loot in here. Another book. Huh. All lifts. Locked. What the hell is this? Can't even get in there even with the, their key. Oh well. So they were, uh... I mean, the larder showed that they had more meat than just the human meat, so... I think that was bullshit. Don't feel any regret about my decision. So let's get back to the herbalist and I'll see you guys there in a second. I'm back at the herbalist hut and uh, we'll have to uh, break the bad news to him. Hey there. Volkert, your apprentice. I know what happened to him. Out with it. I've gone near daft with worry. Well, he's dead. Sorry about that. Cannibals ate him. He was... Uh, really no gentle way to put this. Cannibals ate him. Cannibals? A short ride from Novigrad. In Velen, that would be one thing, but... But here... God... You slew them, right? Tell me you killed them. We did. did. He's been avenged. Was that? Uh, your coin. Take it and... And now please be on your way. I must write to Falkert's parents. I'm sorry, man, to be the, the bearer of bad news. But uh, it's no other way. So, without the trace completed, I uh, might have to check out what we're going to do next. So, uh, give me a second. So, next up, I'm going to already start the Open Sesame quest. So, uh, the second part of Old Geard's Three Wishes, the second one of his Three Wishes, uh, where we need to try and buy the Borsodi house for him. So, this thing, this giant thing, is probably the Borsodi house. And uh, there's probably an auction going on right in there, so let's uh, try and get in, I wanted to say, but we're being stopped by guards, I think. That looks like an auction house, all right. This the Brasodi Brothers auction house? Seems it. Private Kleiner, you're on duty. Need I remind you, fraternizing with civilians is not allowed. Purpose of your visit? 
That was a different voice than the first line, but hey. Redanian soldiers guarding an Just auction curious. house. Redanian army regulars, right? Hans Corporal Václav reporting. And this bloke's my subordinate, Private Kleiner. Careful you don't piss yourself out of excitement. You say something, soldier. Not a thing. Shouldn't you be somewhere? There's a war on, you know. We was transferred here. All official. Written order 76 CWX. Mission, guard the auction house. Priority, high top, in fact. Poor Sodi fella knows his way about the court. Helps the high rankings sell their war booty. <laughs> Gets protection in return. Private Kleiner, that's confidential military information. Well, it sounds like logical information. Uh, I want to talk to the Bersodi brothers the themselves. Home. Meaning the one and sole owner, the esteemed host Bersodi. Aye, he is. Need to talk to him. Order 76 CWX is clear. Auctions only open to folk with invitations. Writ out in their names, plain and simple. Okay. I'm sure we can work something out. Don't let that hold you back. Come on. Afraid you're out of luck. Order 76 CWX also held that Lance Cook. Is that another Lance Easter egg that 76 CWX? Kleiner, need I remind you of the penalty for insulting a superior? Who have we here? Geralt, the Witcher of Rivia. Vimy Vivaldi. Yeah, it was the just. from. Actually, where are you from? Matters little, mate. Gold knows no boundaries. So this is the guy where we uh, trade our currency in. Are you squabbling with my pal Geralt? Master Vivaldi, sir, your esteemed associate, he weren't invited to the auction, and I've... But I plough and have been, and he's coming with me. In you go, Geralt. Thanks, Vime Vivaldi. Vime Vivaldi. Oh, my he also changed Back his uh, model recently. Need I take this up with the sergeant? Ha! I thought not. No! Stand to attention and shut your geggy. Yes, indeed, sir. Shut your geggy. Oh, the lads will be rolling back at the barracks. <laughs> Sucked it. Now march. Round you go. One, two, one, two. Those guys are hilarious. You gotta love these little quips. Oh, that's my sword's gone. Appreciate I do want those that. back. Just note. I've always had a mind to see into old pals and clients. Business with you's a pure pleasure, Vimmy. The dear departed wifey claimed the same. Ah ha! Folk are assembling. Auction's about to start. Time we went upstairs. Okay, it looks pretty though. Well, not just the auction, the ladies as well, but uh... Then the Borsodis have their auction house in Novigrad, yeah. I could have sworn the Borsodis auction house was in Novigrad. It was, but they moved it. You see, Radovid offered Horst a preferential tax rate. Zero percent. Huh. Pretty much unbeatable. Aye. Yes, indeed. And I've never seen a purer example of the benevolent state. Okay. And any idea what they might what what might be up for bit? On? Any idea? All kinds of valuables. Rare weaponry. That sounds good. But I've got my eye on a selection of canvases by the master portraitist of the Maribor school, Van der Neuve and Longendijk. Well, well. Never knew you to be a connoisseur. Of course I'm not. It's all muck and rubbish to me. Point of fact, I'll just wrap them in paper and lock them in the vault. Why in the world do... What do you mean, why, Geralt? I've got to diversify my investments, didn't I? Yes, indeed, you need to. So, uh, we really just want to talk to Borsodi himself. Actually, I'm really just here to talk to Horst Borsodi. Oh, might be more of a problem than you'd expect. Yeah, because I didn't expect anything else. Hermit, that one. Not a wee bit like his da, my little keep his soul. But, Horst is like to show his heed during the auction. I'll introduce you then. Be mighty indebted to you. Think nothing of it. Only if I clicked on loans and promissory notes. <laughs> All right. Up we go. Okay then, so go to the upper floor of the auction house. We'll do that as well. Do we need to follow Vimy? It appears we need to. Could get you attractive terms on a mortgage. No such thing as attractive loan terms, Vimy. What about in Kaviri Mart? Was he selling us a house? Auction won't start. Or a loan for a house. Vimy, this is a banquet. Aye, and? I detest banquets. 
Vacuous conversation, food portions fit for a mouse, drinks that taste like piss. Ah, it won't all be bad. Let me introduce you to some of my most interesting associates. Sounds good. Old hand there is Countess Mignol. Wager you'll have plenty to blather about with her. <laughs> Prick in the corners, Hilbert. New coin, that one. Came into a right fortune playing quaint. Ah, there's Yaramir, art dealer. A purer snob I've never known. But he knows paintings like no other. And so, I think they all can hear you, so... Someone up. It's not fitting for us to stand here like knobs. <sighs> Okay, so we're at the banquet and we need to meet Vivaldi's friends. Well, it's optional, but uh, we're gonna do that. Yes, indeed. Uh, I'm gonna take a little break, so when we come back we're gonna go around the auction house and talk to everybody. But for now, thank you guys enormously for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And if you haven't already, don't forget to give it a thought to subscribe to my channel, because I really appreciate any support you guys can give me. So thank you again enormously for watching and I hope to see you in the next video or series. Goodbye.